Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Lorenzo Leonardo. I will be talking to you about financial blueprint or financial plan. To give you a little background of myself, I'm a computer engineering graduate from the University of San Carlos. Formerly, I was with Epson Software Development Philippines as a systems engineer. And formerly, I was been to Kyocera Document Solutions Development Philippines as a senior systems engineer. Currently, I'm already an executive marketing director of IMG. Currently, I'm also an associate financial planner of the registered financial planners Philippines. Currently, I also have my life insurance underwriter license and passed the life licensing exam of the Insurance Institute for Asia and the Pacific. And I'm also a full-time investor. I'll be talking to you about the X-curve concept. Now in our life, all of us started at a younger age and eventually we will end up during our older age. So the, the line, this red line, is what we call the law of decreasing responsibility, or this is our financial obligations. And the blue line represents our wealth, or what we call the law of building wealth. So theoretically, as we get older, we should increase our wealth and decrease our financial obligations. So what if we die too soon and we live too long? So it's a problem. It's a financial problem actually. Because life has an if, but it is not a question of if, but it is a question of when. We cannot predict when will be our time or when will our lifetime end in this world. In our lives, there are four stages. During our younger age, we started some of us working at age 20. And stage two, uh, this is what we call at, in our 30s. Stage three is in our 40s. Stage four is in our 50s to 60s. And so on. Now, when we are young, we have a lot of responsibilities because we still don't have any savings. So that's why we work hard for the money to provide our basic needs, our food, shelter, rent, clothing, education, health, debts, and loan. But the challenge of this, we work for the money and actually, the source of our income right now is just temporary. We cannot predict even you have a good business right now or you have a good job right now. We cannot predict if our business will still thrive or our job will still be there. That is why we have this temporary income and it is not equal to permanent needs. And always remember, these basic needs are our permanent needs. That is why at this part, we are less secure. Especially what if we die too soon? If we die too soon, who will take care of these big responsibilities that we left? for our family. So very less secure at this point. So since it is very less secure at this point, how much protection and savings do we need? 
So we have a basic formula of annual income times 10. Take note, this is not yet subject to inflation. We will just estimate how much protection do you need to cover your big responsibilities if you die too soon. Example, if you're earning 20,000 a month, multiply it by 12 months, that is equivalent to 240,000 pesos in a year. So multiply it by 10, you will have a product of 2.4 million. So that 2.4 million becomes your big responsibility. And take note, at this point, we don't have any savings. And we already have big responsibilities. So how to increase our wealth curve? In order to increase our wealth curve, we should also start to save. Example, at this point, you already have 400,000 of savings. So it means your responsibility also goes down. So from 2.4 million, it becomes 2 million because you already have 400,000 of savings. As we get older, we should continue to increase this wealth line. So let's say at this point, you already have 2 million worth of savings. So at this point, what you left in your responsibility is 400,000 because you already have 2 million savings. And there will be come a point in our life that we will hit these big savings we hit our financial goals and we don't have any more financial obligations. Okay. So at this point, we already start to let money work for us. Example, if you already have 2.4 million savings and you know how to invest that money. Example, you invested it at 10% a year. So in a year, it gives you a 240,000 pesos interest divided by 12, or that is equivalent to 20,000 a month. At this point, you are not anymore working for the money, but at this point, it is already money working for you. So the goal in financial planning, you need to write up what is your current income right now and follow this formula so that you will be able to have some projections on how much you need to save to hit your goals later. So at this point, we are already living on interest. So the interest alone of our money will, will be the one to pay for our food, in case we are still uh, paying our house mortgage or renting clothing, education, health, debts and loans, kung meron pa. So once we have this goal, we are already more secure. Because even if you stop working, there's already money working for you. That's the goal. That's the bottom line of this X-curve concept. To have more secure financial future. So at this point, at this era, this less secure, let's say if you don't have yet uh, savings, you need life insurance. That's the purpose of life insurance programs. The purpose of life insurance programs is to cover your big responsibilities in case you die too soon. And at this part, the solution here is you need to have investments and long-term care. And the only way 
to achieve those is you need some discipline. Discipline is the key to build wealth. And the next question is how to grow this wealth line much more faster. Let's discuss about rule of 72. What is rule of 72? Who invented rule of 72? Actually, rule of 72 was introduced by Luca Pacioli in the 15th century. He is an Italian mathematician and the father of modern day accounting. And also Albert Einstein quoted that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world and mankind's greatest invention because it is the mightiest force ever unleashed for the amassing of wealth. So rule of 72, it is a mathematical concept that approximates the number of years it would take to double the principal at a constant rate of return. So this is just an example. This is just an illustration how this mathematical concept works. This is not a product. This is not an investment product, but this is just a mathematical concept. It will help you approximate how many years would it take for your money to double. Example, there are four 4% uh, four interest, eight and 12. So these are all annual interest rate. And take note, rule of 72 is only for annual rate of return. Using this formula, the constant 72 just divided it by the interest rate, let's say 4%. So Seventy-two divided by four, that is equals to eighteen years. In this example, example, you are age twenty-nine right now. You have a hundred thousand pesos of savings. You put it at four percent a year. You will already predict or able to approximate that after eighteen years, your hundred thousand became becomes 200,000. Another 18 years, your 200,000 become 400,000. That's what we call compounding. And that is what the rule of 72 emphasize all about. What if 8%, 72 divided by 8, so money doubles every nine years so what if your age right now is 29 and you have a hundred thousand savings you put it at eight percent a year vehicle so after nine years it becomes two hundred thousand after nine years it becomes four hundred thousand after nine years it became comes 800,000 and eventually it becomes 1.6 million. What if 12%, 72 divided by 12% or 12 equals six. So money doubles every six years. So if you're age 29 right now at 100,000, let's say you have 100,000 savings. After six years, it becomes 200,000. After six years, it becomes 400,000. After six years, it becomes 800,000. It becomes 1.6. It becomes 3.2. It becomes 6.4. So let's analyze. If you double the interest, you do not double the money. In fact, at this example, you quadruple the money. That's the power of compounding. What if 12%, so 12 is thrice four. You just thrice the interest rate, but you do not triple 
the money. 6.4 million is 16 times 400,000. So meaning, if you triple the interest rate, it could be 16 times effect in the future amount of the money. That's the power of compound interest. But the sad thing right now, especially here in the Philippines, a lot of Filipinos have some debts more than 12%. More than 12% a year. That is why a lot of us Filipinos, we are already struggling right now in our money. And because of that, very big interest in our debts. Our scenario, our financial situation became worse. So that's the challenge right now. And most of us Filipinos do not know, do not know how to save or invest the right way. And most of us invested in those interests more than 10% a month, that is very impossible because in the real investments, even you, you track the movement of the stock market since the depression of 1930s until the present, if you look at that graph, it only gives between 8 to 12% a year. So, if someone is offering you very high interest rate, guaranteed interest, it is impossible. It is a red flag already. That is why a lot of Filipinos fall into scams. And many of us don't know how to save and invest. And most of us are saving below 4%. And take note, our inflation average, inflation rate in the Philippines is between 4 to 6% a year. So if you're saving below 4%, you are already losing the value of your money because we have what we call inflation. Guys, that's the good thing that if you become a member of IMG, even you don't have any accounting background or engineering background, you will be thought here in our organization once you join because there are a lot of trainers here who are already investing in the stock market or mutual funds more than 20 years. They already have the experience, and they already have the wisdom. So the best person to coach you is those people who are really doing investing. So, so that's the purpose why IMG was born in the Philippines two decades ago. And hopefully, guys, in the next session, we will discuss what are different investment in the Philippines. So I, Lorenzo Leonardo, if you have some questions, you can contact me at this number. I have my email. I also have my AI assistant and my website. Thank you and have a great day.